Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, I was looking for these bananas with Lanky on Frantic Factory, and I found them. See, I told you I was an idiot, and I probably just missed them on a place that I was never going to go because I already had a banana warp there. There, that's all 100. So now we've actually 100% of this level, except for the boss. And for one other thing that we're going to be doing after we do the boss. So now we just got to find a boss portal, climb inside, and go fight the boss after we feed those that greedy hippo and get his pig friend to unlock it for us. But point is, we're almost done with this level finally. I know this is taking this is taking way way too long. I know a, a character who knew, who knows this game a little bit better than I do, who was playing off of a walkthrough or whatever, would probably have finished this level by now. But I'm neither, so whatever. Let's go ahead and go over to Snides. I believe there's a portal over here. There should be. There's not, is there? Gosh darn it. Nope. <sighs> See, I love this game, and I, I played it, like I said, I played it, this was more or less my childhood. This was my childhood, this game. And yet, I still feel like I know so little about it. You know, some people have games that, from their childhood, memorized. And there are other games that I played a lot as a kid that I do have memorized. Games like, uh... Donkey Kong... No, not Donkey Kong. Not, um... I mean, like, uh, Mario 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. Um... Game, even, like, Super Smash Brothers or, uh... I don't know. Um... Let's go back down here. You know, Mario Kart. I could probably still pick up Mario Kart 64 today and be able to race on every single one of the tracks in that, lo in that game and not miss a beat. Because I played it so darn much as a kid. Even though I despise the game because of how badly it's aged, I would still be able to pick it up and play it today because I know so much about it now. You know, there's some games that people can just do that with. They can just... they were, It's like riding a bike. They know how to do it so well that they can just pick it up at any time that they want and be able to play it again. This game is kind of like that for me, but the problem is that this game is so darn big that I have no idea where a lot of the stuff that happens is. I just completed a recent playthrough of this game that I probably was... I must have been using a walkthrough or something for because I know I 100%ed it, and yet I still don't remember where a lot of things are, so I probably didn't, like, commit them to memory like you would if you actually had to search them and find them without using a walkthrough. So that's that. We fed uh, all 200 bananas to Scoff, and now Trough is going to open up the boss door for us, and we'll be able to fight the boss of Frantic Factory. And it's a tiny boss. Intriguing. Not a tiny boss. I mean, it's a boss for tiny. You know what I mean, I hope. Anyway, let's go inside. No introductory cutscene this time, just a disco floor. <laughs> a battle in the air. And yes, that's as close to Tiny gets to having a personality in this game. Go figure. Jack in the box, that's not so bad. Oh. Well, crap. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Mad Jack. He is the equi he is the this game's equivalent of an ensemble dark horse. The most popular boss and easily the scariest and most thematic boss of this entire game.
depending on your skill level, as well as how well you can ponytail twirl, it could be argued that Mad Jack is actually harder than the final boss of this game. He definitely requires more uh, skill in platforming than uh, the final boss. Obviously, I screwed up there, but um, yeah, this boss is incredibly fun and yet also very hard at the same time. Basically, the entire gimmick of this boss is that you have to ponytail twirl in between platforms to stay out of his way. But there is a trick to it. If you jump right at the very corner of a platform, you can actually ponytail twirl diagonally, which is immensely useful. And then once he stops and takes time to throw fireballs at you, which he is really accurate with, um, a platform will drop, will, a uh, switch will appear on the platform, which you will hit to damage him. You have to do this, it's either four or five times, some odd number like that. It's not three like the last couple of bosses like that. That's the other thing. Even though this is only the third boss in this game, the, the difficulty curve is, is very high. You can see that um, by diagonally hopping from just two platforms, one across to another, you can avoid him pretty easily. Now, the platforms, now that he's on his third hit, the platforms that he, that the switches appear on do not light up like they did in the, at the beginning. So you have to be able to see them from a long ways away. So you want to stay on the edges of the pl of the uh, the arena. I believe this is a four x four grid. So if you stay, if you just keep that in mind. Okay, now now what he does is he'll actually hop backwards instead of going around in a circle like he was doing before. He'll actually hop back onto a space that he just hopped on. So he's willing to play tag backs now. But that just means you can avoid him that much easier as long as your reaction time is good. Like I said, if you know if you don't know how to ponytail twirl, this fight will teach you. Believe me, you'll learn. Okay, now he's got a new attack where he fires his laser. But we got him. Take that, Mad Jack. And that's it. That's Mad Jack's fight. Oh, wait, no, it's not. You son of a gun. Now, not only is he faster, but he also turns invisible, so it's almost impossible to see where he's going to go next. He doesn't even cast a shadow. That's how good they were at, like, animating this. The hitboxes and everything are the same as they were before when he was still visible. The difference now is that he doesn't cast a shadow, and he moves much, much faster. So this is where hopping back, and he will even hop up and down on the same platform, if you do the s strategy that I did on the last one, where you just go back and forth between two, he'll just hop up and straight up and down in the air and try to trick you. And uh, you saw that that's how he got that hit on me. So you, you really don't have any choice but to use your uh, diagonal techniques. Oh gosh, he got me. See, you can see I've already lost what is, I think I've lost either three quarters of a melon or a whole melon. He is definitely a much, much harder boss than either uh, Dagonadon or Armidillo. And he's definitely one of, like I said, he's easily one of my favorite bosses in this game. Both, be both because of his insane, the insane Joker laugh, and because of um, just his design is magnificent. And, okay, I see it, it's over in that corner. Oh, he's got me. Yep. I'm down to three quarters of a melon. Oh, I love this boss so much. I, I hated... Honestly, when I first played this as a kid, I hated this boss because I had no idea what you had to do when you got to this point because I thought he was... I, I could never find... Um, you know, I would always fall off the platforms. I had no idea about this diagonal trick. Um... He would always be able to catch up to me, smash me flat, take all my health, cause me to fall. When you fall, you don't actually lose health, but um, obviously you, uh, okay, I think it's this way. There it is, there it is. Nope, wrong one. See, that's what happens. There's always two that appear, one on one color platform and the other on another color. And 
You want to stomp the switch on the same color platform that he's on, otherwise you'll just end up shocking yourself. But yeah, this is, um... Yeah, this is probably the hardest boss... One of the hardest bosses in this game. Which is kind of disappointing, considering that he's only in the third... Uh, third level. There are harder bosses, but they're harder for the wrong reasons. Why did that happen? That was weird. Okay, anyway, I'm down to a quarter of a melon, so one more hit and I'm done for. I've got to... I'm... 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 I'm scared. I'm worried that this is going to be the first boss that I actually die at. After the complete... I didn't even, I don't think I even lost any health on the first two bosses. And now I'm going to actually die? I've actually heard two different names for this boss. Um, because when I was a kid, we actually had two different strategy guides for this game. We had the Prima Guide and the Nintendo Power Guide. And um, one of them... I believe it was the Prima Guide called him Quack in the Box, which I suppose is a is an okay name, but I think Mad Jack is a much much better name. Of course, it doesn't explain why he's a duck, but it's still much more sinister than uh, Quack in the Box. I don't even care if that is his official name. I, I like calling him Mad Jack. Crap. And see, I'm playing conservatively now because I'm down to one one uh, hit. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to die. And like I said, I want to try to stay on the edges of the arena as much as I can, so that he can't kill me, and I can still see the uh, switches relatively well. You really almost have to play this boss by sound at this point because you can't afford to take the time to pan the camera around to look for the sparkles, and you can't see them- Oh! Serenity! Serendipity, whatever. Bye, Mad Jack! You are the best boss in this game, my friends. Sad, it's a sad, crying shame to see you go. Oh, well. So, with that, we actually get our third boss key! <sighs> See, it seems like they were trying... I don't know if they were trying to make Tiny, like, the favorite of this game. With, um, you know... With that... Boss... Of awesomeness. But... I guess it kind of worked because they decided to bring Tiny back recently after Nintendo got the rights to the Donkey Kong characters. Instead of all of the other Kongs that are in this game, the one that they brought back is Tiny. Albeit with an age upgrade, or, well, age differential. I don't suppose it's an upgrade. But, um, yeah, they, they brought Tiny back in uh, Mario Super Sluggers and the remake of Diddy Kong Racing, interestingly enough, even though she's a teenager instead of a little kid. But, we have one last thing to do in this level, now that even though we have the boss key. We have one more thing we need to do. This. Pay a couple of banana coins to have a, to take another spin on the Donkey Kong arcade game. Now this time, the game is actually basically New Game Plus, or whatever you want to call it. It's harder this time around than it was before. Not much harder, but it is harder. And see, instead of a girl, it's a Nintendo symbol. If that's even a symbol, it's hard to say. It looks like the N64 symbol, but I have a hard time seeing it. See, you can see the blue barrel bounces down. If you don't run right away, the blue barrel will come down and crush you before you can get to the end. And sometimes the barrel's actually randomized. It's not the same... Um, in the first, the first time you play through this um, game, the barrels were more or less the same every time. But now, they're actually somewhat randomized. They'll change um, depending on what, how many times you play it. They'll come down, some, will, some of them will roll down the stairs and others, uh, the ladders, and others, won't, and, they won't, and others won't. Or the second time you play through it, it'll be um, different. Like, um, ones that didn't roll down the, the ladders before do. 
and they'll, you know, you'll be expecting them to roll past you, and instead they'll just, um, hit you right on the head. So that's, that's the way you can be able to beat the second level. You can do it on the hard or the easy, um, points, and it'll be, it'll work the same way. Oh, get down the ladder, Mario. Or jump, man, whatever you are. Okay, you can see we do have an extra life now as well, but I don't want to play this uh, level more than once, so I'm going to try not to die. Uh, I thought I could make it. Okay, so good thing we got that extra life, huh? Once you get up to 100,000 points, you get an extra life, and the key to getting all those bonus points is actually a speed. Believe it or not, the faster you complete these levels, the, cl the better chance you have of getting an extra life. Which is, you know, hard when your uh, character is fragile as uh, Jumpman is in this game. Literally, one hit, sh one shot will kill you. Oh, like that. <sighs> oh well, let's just try again. And like I said, you only have to pay banana coins the first time you try the second, the harder version. Um, every other time after that, it's actually uh, free. Okay, so... I'm gonna give this one more try on camera, and then, um, I'll just, if I fail, if I die again this time, I'm gonna cut footage back to the end of the third level where I was before, okay? So this'll be, this'll be the last time we try this on camera. Or... Recording. Oh! See? That, that blue barrel screwed me. It didn't come down that ladder before, it came down the one on the other end. It's like it's programmed to come they're programmed to come down the ladders that you're near. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut footage to the end of the third level where I was before. All right. Gosh, finally I got to 100M. 75M, my friends. I hate it. I hate it so much. That's one thing that almost killed Brawl for me, was when they revealed that 75M was going to be a bonus level. I literally said, why would anyone want to play that? And why would anyone? That... I hate... hate... hate 75M. That level of this game... I have more hate for it than any other level in any old video game like this that I, I have ever played. I seriously hate 75M. And now I am playing ultra-cautiously at this point because I lost one of my lives at 75M and I don't want to have to play it again. I really don't. your mind. See, I'm glad that the AI in this point in history wasn't great, because otherwise they would have killed me there, because they had me trapped. Okay, just one left. Yes! 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 Oh, you guys have no idea. I have 20-some minutes of footage that I am not going to show you of just me getting up to 75M and dying over and over again. I don't even care 
what I put on here because I finished it and I am done with that game. Oh, I feel so good. And there's our prize. No victory animation, no nothing. It's called the Nintendo Coin, and it's going to be vital for us to fin be able to finish this game. There was a point in history where I was playing this game back as a, as a child, and I was unable to finish it because I was never able to beat 75M. But we did. After 20 minutes of failure, we actually managed to beat 75M. So, since we did, um, I am going to leave you guys off here. I am going to edit this down considerably, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, where we'll go on to level number four. See you all then. Okay. Yes, I want to save.